What's up everyone, it's Kaisen here and welcome back to The Awakening. Last episode we went to the Weaver's Chambers and we got Malagar Spike. Now this time we have to get the second quest item to uh, poison the tree. Uh, but first off, you want to talk to Silk because he has a reward for you. You can get reduced mana, um, which actually in The Awakening uh, was significantly nerfed because beforehand it was always used on auras um, and as far as I know it is not really possible to use it on auras anymore you can just use it on skills now so I kinda like the the change because beforehand you had to have reduced mana uh, once or twice on every build so now it's not as important anymore um, we do have faster attacks. We do not have attacks, so that's not interesting to us. Curse on hit. Not really. Um, the only thing that's important to us here is cast when damage taken. Because we will have a cast when damage taken set up at some point. Um, uh, let's see. I will... I have to be a bit careful because I just want to level it up to the next level up and ideally not um, press the level up once it shows up on the right hand side here um, and then I can still decide whether I want to um, have a higher level cast when damage taken because what it does is if you level it up you can use a higher level skills with it but it only procs uh, once you get higher amounts of damage uh, dealt to your character so it's a it's a question of how dangerous is it uh, to only proc you know when you already uh, get so much damage uh, some people leave it really low and then it procs pretty much um, with every attack of the of the enemy uh, we'll talk about it a bit later um, so best tell as well uh, go there because we opened the passage and you will get the book of skill and we can definitely use that and we will use it right here with another strength node all right now where do we want to go we will go back to the crossroads because we do have to get into the chamber of sins next to get the second quest item. And we also have to kill some bandit leaders. Uh, I'm still I'm still a bit unsure about uh, whether I should take the 5%. Uh, I'm, I'm going down here first just to run it through. Um, still unsure whether I should take the 5% the cast speed from Alira or just kill all of them. Uh, it's kind of tricky because the um, the overall build, like the really end 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 game build, level one hundred, uh, looks pretty good uh, with the skill point. Although I would have. One and I actually I posted in uh, in the thread of the person that uh, initially put the build together, just to make sure why he didn't. Um, uh, let me show you guys. Um, he is not going for this here for mana flows, where you get a bunch more mana and mana region, uh, which I think is for two points investment actually a a really good bargain. Uh, especially if you take into account that we will eventually go Eldritch Battery. Nope, nope, it's right here, yes. Uh, Eldritch Battery and also we will go into Mind Over Matter. So the mana pool that we have serves as a kind of buffer uh, for our life value. So in that sense, I don't understand why you wouldn't go for increased mana pool. Um, but we'll see what comes out of it. Okay, so here we have two additional sockets. That that could be interesting. This could potentially be a five or even six link in here. Um, low chances, though. There's a rogue exile and a stream of monsters. Okay, so let's just get a bit away from this. 
Oh, Athena Mogo. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, she goes down really fast. And the rest here. Pretty, pretty easy. Okay. Crit Strikes has leveled. Oh, and we have an Elrion. Okay, well... We're not even close to 5 or 6 link here. Well, there was a chance for it though. And that's all we need. Okay, what, what do we got here? Let's just grab all these. And... Uh, do we still need... Yes, we still need the upgrade. Okay, let's... Put this one and... Alright, let's help Elrion. I think we just have to defend it, so this should be fairly easy. Okay, those guys are not allowed to explode. No. Alright. Now we have to get rid of the... of the mamas, so they can't... Uh, consistently spawn. Oh, here we have to get rid of these guys. I think we're pretty much through. That should have been the worst to come. Yep. Nice. We got a fuse out of it. And Elrion is slowly creeping uh, towards level 5, which will be an important point, because if we have one master at level 5, we can uh, upgrade our hideout. And that means, first off, if we want to play around with the, uh, the layout of the hideout and just put some shit in it, we have more space. And for me, the important thing is that uh, if we upgrade the hideout, we can invite another master. So we will have three masters in there, which means it is uh, easier to level them because you can do three dailies every day. Okay. Now let's just grab the waypoint here. go back to town. After selling my item, we go back to the crossroads. And now we'll actually make our way towards the Chamber of Sins. Just killing the main dude here. And keep going. And here we are. Um, somebody actually posted a comment on uh, one of the videos asking for a loot filter. And, I mean, you can see that I'm not using a loot filter right now, uh, which is mainly due to the fact that I'm, uh, I haven't really looked into it, to be honest. Uh, I think it should be uh, really interesting for most people. It's a great addition to the game, in my opinion. Um, and it also, it obviously makes it easier to find the items that you're actually looking for and that you want to pick up in the end. Uh, for me, since I'm, I'm taking my time here, uh, I'm, you know, not really rushing it. I don't think that I necessarily need it just because I have the time to make sure that I only pick up what I really need and also, uh, take the time to make sure that I don't miss what I need which I guess is even more important. Um, oh, hello, my friend. Black Death. Uh, whoa. Okay. This guy actually hits really hard. Did you see that hit? Man. Um, <laughs> yeah, so what I was trying to say before I almost died was... Uh, 
that I think it would be tricky for me to actually uh, put a filter like that together. I had to invest quite a bit of time into it um, because I want to make sure that um, I get everything highlighted that might be interesting uh, to me. And that includes certain whites. Um, I mean, for example, if, if you make it to maps or to higher levels, um, what I what I like to do and what I'll probably, uh, you know, show you guys and probably fail at it, uh, I like to pick up um, high-level white items. It doesn't really matter what kind of uh, sockets they have to try and chance uniques. And in that case, uh, how should I... I mean, I, I don't even know how you would do that. Um, make sure that you just get the ones shown that you want. I feel like that's really that's really difficult with a loot filter. So I just decided to, for now at least, not use one if... Uh, whoop, what is this? Okay. I think there's something really weird going on with my internet right now. Because my game just stopped working. I think you guys can see that. Nothing is really... Hello? Nothing is moving. Hmm. Let me figure this out. Oh. Yeah, you saw towards the end there that uh, I was being kicked out of uh, PoE. So, uh, it was my internet crashing down. Um, one upside to the whole thing, I just, you know, uh, went back into the, the Chamber of Sins to make sure that the area is not... Uh, timing out so that we don't have to rerun what we already did. But I want to go back to the crossroads uh, because the positive of uh, me having to run past here again is that now the second time I actually saw this. So we can do a hack commission here before we go uh, back into the chamber. And that should should be fast enough so we don't have to worry about, as I said, the other zone resetting. So let's just go in and do this real quick and then we're back on our way okay this time it is with a timer so let's Whatever. Rather want to finish the mission. Alright. So let's get rid of some of the guys here. Yeah, especially the blues. And we do have roughly one minute left. can position ourselves in a way that we kill him and the guys that he spawns at the same time. This guy is not really dangerous anyway. You just have to be careful of his uh, um, desecration. Okay, I want this one. And that's pretty much all we need. So let's take the spirit and run. Run, run, run. There's nothing really happening here. <laughs> okay. Spirit apparently said bye. Or the tormented soul. It's so hard to keep track of all those names. Tala Moana. Okay, we're done here. And back in. Yep, the zone is still there. Beautiful. And we were on our way down here. I think we were actually right at the... Before uh, my computer crashed, we were right at the, the way down into the next area. Because it, at least it, it looks like that here, yes. 
That's what I thought. Nice. So we can get the waypoint down here in level two. I don't think we have to go back to town. Mm. I'll just do it. Okay. Now let's go through here. I do believe our resistances are pretty much maxed. Yeah, lightning is 69. Sweet 69. Should be enough. Okay. Where's my friend here? Here we go. Get the amulet. Okay, this is a dead end. And we made it. Let's resummon our buddy before he dies in one hit. And face the, the big monster back here. Cursed. And let's go. Alright, down. Is this game easy? <laughs> At least for now. It will get pretty hard again. Trust me on that. Okay, we got the gem. That means we can just skip a doodle out of here. And now we get another reward. Um. I don't think getting the life or mana flasks uh, is a good idea because you get plenty of them, so um, it makes more sense to get something here that we need. Hmm. What do we have in our inventory at this point? Do we have any of the flasks? We have a sapphire, but that's that's basically it. Um. I think I think I want the ruby, just because we deal fire damage. So if it's a good roll, it might be interesting to uh, use that one, maybe instead of one of the life flasks uh, against reflect. Make it fast. Okay, well, this is movement speed and recharge when crit. That's not that great, so probably not going to use it. We're just going to put it in here for now. Okay, uh, what did these guys want? Nothing in particular. What are we going to do next? Uh, I would say we go for Creighton, who's one of the bandits. For that, we're back in the crossroads, and this time we take this path out. Hello. Hello. All right. And since I haven't necessarily decided on uh, whether I want to help Alira or not, that means after we kill this guy here, I have something in my eye. Wow. After we kill this guy here, we probably have to go back to Alira because right now we have uh, we have the quest to help her. So what that means is if we kill uh, Creighton here and then we go uh, and kill Oak, uh, I think we we did fulfill the quest already. So at that point we lose the the choice that we still want. Uh, by the way, if you if you make a choice with one of the masters and you want to change it later on, uh, it's pretty expensive. I think you need uh, like 20, 20 regrets or so. Um, to make uh, you can change it, yes, but as I said, 20 regrets that's that's a lot of currency. So you want to make sure that. 
you know straight away uh, in what direction you want to go with your build obviously and also uh, which bandit rewards are most likely to help your build become stronger so in our case uh, it is somewhat tricky because both options are okay um, if, if you want to min max it one is probably a tiny bit better than the other and I'm still trying to figure out which one it is the the original uh, the the guy who originally made the build apparently thinks that it is the, the skill point so I just wanna uh, feel him out and see why exactly uh, he thought that that was okay 8% increased attack speed since we're not attacking this is an easy kill I'm just gonna get our guy back up first and now Let's kill him off. Oh, level up. Okay. Alright, so now we can curse him and... Yeah, he's down, He's going down quick, even without the curse. Peace out. Take the amulet. And make your way back. Uh, since we don't really have enough time left to do the crypt, what we're going to do is just uh, for the next couple of minutes go into the riverways uh, and get the waypoint there. And then next episode keep going from there. So just bring everything back up. Go into the wetlands. And as I said, you don't necessarily want to talk to Oak uh, right now. I hope I can, uh, before making the next video... Oh, wait. What do we have here? Hello, my friend. Yes. Come to me. No, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, I don't have... To to talk to him, I can still go in here. What? <sighs> Stop. Damn. They're just too fast for me. I'm an old man. So, back in my, in my younger days, in my youth, I could have killed all of them, but now... My knees are, are really not there anymore. Alright, let's see if I guessed right. It is sometimes down here, but it doesn't seem to be that way this time, so we're going back up. I'm just looking for the waypoint now. Uh, and I, yeah, I don't necessarily have to fight anything while looking for it. Well, if I see one like you, of course. But, whoops. What? Yeah. Damn you. Okay, we're just gonna carry this with us. Oh, here we are. So if you have your inventory open, and then you put one on your, uh, your mouse, you can still walk around with it. So you can kind of cheat a bit, although you don't have the, um, the space in your inventory to carry it with you you can still do it as long as you have it on your mouse just as a little a little hint okay um well i'm just gonna sell all this stuff and we do have the waypoint so next time we can decide uh, which of the bandit rewards or maybe the the skill point we want to take and then from there on uh, we'll keep going and hopefully maybe even the next the next episode or one episode after latest uh, we can finish act two and move forward into act three crawl i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and i'll see you guys next time